Oh, we can do better. I know it's Friday afternoon, but good afternoon. Uh, seniors, it is great to see you. I know that we have been apart for uh, so many, so many days. Uh, I would say, you know, over a year now. Uh, so it is great to come together this afternoon as we begin uh, what is the beginning of the end of your journey here at DBCR. And we begin with uh, College Signing Day. So welcome to all of our seniors. We're very proud of you, all of the accomplishments that you have made uh, throughout your four years, but specifically during this uh, very difficult time of the pandemic. And I'll have to say that I'm very uh, proud of all of you for all the hard work that you have put in. Uh, also welcome to our, our family members and guests who are also here with us for all your continued support. This is very much a, has been very much a, a partnership. And so we are very grateful uh, for, uh, for your work and your presence in your child's life. So we will begin with this celebration uh, of College Signing Day. It is an opportunity to recognize all of our seniors and their commitment to college as they begin their new journey in the fall. So before we begin, uh, I welcome Father Mike Conway, our president, who is gonna give us opening remarks and an opening prayer. It is so finally good to see the class of 2021 here at school. It has been way too long, way too long. If you remember, I left you all last February to go to Italy for a meeting. And when I came back, you were gone. We ran into our lockdown in our country and I haven't seen you since then. And so I am excited for you today because this is what it's all about. Our coming here this afternoon is to celebrate the fact that you have and will achieve your dreams of going to college, of bettering yourself, and of preparing for your future. And what better place for us to be able to do so than right here, right here before the Lord Jesus. Because whether you realize it or not, throughout the course of this journey at Don Bosco Cristo Rey, and especially during this past year, he's been with you because none of us would be where we are today, especially now, if God was not at our side, along with his mother, Mary Help of Christians. And so as we come together this afternoon, let us turn to both of them and ask them to be with us as we celebrate the class of 2021. In the name of the Father and of the Son, the Holy Spirit, amen. Good and gracious God, it is so wonderful for us to come together as a school community and as the class of 2021 to celebrate the accomplishments of our students and to give thanks to you and to the intercession of your mother, Mary, help of Christians in bringing us to this day. This has been an amazing journey in our lives and especially this past year. And yet through it all, Lord, you have helped us to remain on the path. You could help us to stay focused on the ultimate goal that we have all been striving for. We pray that as our seniors begin to their transition into their college life, that you will be with them all, that you will bless them abundantly as you have during these years and that you will give them a reassurance of your abiding presence. Bless their families and their friends who celebrate as well. Many of them have made great sacrifices to have their children here at the school. We ask you to reward them in a very special way by letting them know that all that they have done has borne good fruit and will continue to do so. And we pray that as we come to celebrate today, that we will always remember you in our lives and never forget that you are with us, especially when we need you most. And we ask this through Christ our Lord, amen. Mary, help of Christians, pray for us. St. John Bosco, pray for us. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. One of my favorite days is today. This is what it's all about. Parents, this is your day too. It's not just the class of 2021. So I want you to remember this journey that we began four years ago. Some of you were concerned about whether or not you could make it happen. 
Some of you didn't know whether or not your son or daughter would get to this day. You can celebrate along with them. And this is why we're so excited about having you with us today in presence, because this is your celebration also. Congratulations to the class of 2021. Congratulations to each and every one of you for your hard work and efforts. And let us give thanks to God each and every single day for his blessings. God bless. Okay, um, you may be wondering what is College Signing Day? Okay, and it is a tradition that we officially started at DBCR in 2012. But this initiative was started by former First Lady Michelle Obama in 2004. So I would like to think that Mrs. Obama copied us, right? Um, but it was part of the Reach Higher initiative under the Obama administration and it has become a national event where students celebrate their post high school plans, whether those plans involve college or university, professional training program or the military. And so this program has spread, as I said, through many high schools and colleges across the United States and in the world. So DBCR officially started with signing day in 2012 and as Father Mike said, it is one of the biggest highlights uh, of the year, right behind graduation, I believe. So over the years, we've had many honors graduates who have been honored during this time. Uh, and today, we will uh, unveil the colleges where all of our seniors have committed to for the fall. In addition to that, we will also uh, name the honors graduates for the class of 2021 including the salutatorian number two in the class and the valedictorian number one in the class. So over the years, we've seen different numbers of honors graduates. Okay, so I'll start from 20, 2011, which was our first graduating class. So in 2011, we did top 10%. So seven students graduated with honors. In 2012, six students graduated with honors. In 2013, also six students graduated with honors. In 2014, we made adjustments to what it was to graduate with honors, meaning students that achieved a cumulative uh, GPA, weighted GPA of 3.5 and above. So starting in 2014, we had uh, 12 students. In 2015, 12 students. In 2016, 10 students. Then in 2017, we had 27 students. In 2018, 32 students. In 2019, 26 students graduating with honors. Last year, we had uh, 30 students graduating with honors. And out of the class of 2021, out of the class of 89 seniors, uh, 29 seniors from the class of 2021 will be graduating with honors. So a round of applause to them. So we are definitely very, very proud of you uh, and excited for what's ahead. So in a, in a few moments, we will uh, unveil and we will call those who are present here today to come up and receive a certificate. And I know that Ms. Wilson will provide some instructions as well. But as your names are called, you're gonna come in through, um, through my right, the right side, pick up your certificate, or if it's a frame, it's a fr uh, you'll pick up the frame from the center table and then I will be on the other side to give you, uh, for the gentleman, our black and gold tie. You know, black, black and gold are our school colors. Or for our young ladies, it'll be a gold pashmina. And the black and gold tie and the pashmina uh, not only signify our school colors, but they signified that you have been accepted and that you are going to college. So, um, normally, we will give it to you during the school year, during honor roll assembly, but because we haven't seen you, we will give it to you today. So wear it proudly uh, and remember that, that you are college bound. All right, at this time, I would like to introduce Mr. Cannon, who is one of our college counselors for uh, some words of motivation.
Thank you, Mr. Blanco. I just want to uh, personally say to the students as well as the parents and my short duration here at Don Bosco, I am very, very excited for you all. I'm more excited. I mean, this has been truly amazing and I just, I wish each of you all the best. So I want to uh, just kind of define what a champion is. According to Webster's Dictionary, champions are uh, people who have defeated as well as surpassed all rivals. All of you all are champions, all the seniors, you all are indeed champions. From the words of Muhammad Ali, the great boxer, champions aren't made in gyms. For you all, champions are made in classrooms, study halls, uh, on making the honor roll. Um, you, all of y'all heading to college. That's what a champion is. Champions are made from something they have deep inside of them. Once again, that would be all of y'all. A desire, a dream, and a vision. They have to have the skill and will, but the will must be stronger than the skill. Again, from the great words of the former heavyweight champion, Muhammad Ali. So once again, I just want to say I'm honored as well as elated for each and every one of y'all. You all are champions, so make the next chapter your best chapter. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Cannon. All right, let's get started. At this time, I would like to introduce uh, our other college counselor, Ms. Wilson, as well as uh, Mr. Castillo, who will lead us in the presentation of our uh, college acceptances, as well as the announcement of our honors graduates. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome. It is good to see you all somewhat in the building. Seniors, we are here to celebrate you, and I want to congratulate you on all of your wonderful achievements this year. So as Mr. Blanco said, I'm just going to repeat. Students, as I call your name, please come up, grab your certificate from Mr. Cannon or your frame, and then you will go see Mr. Blanco and Ms. Chapa to grab a parashmina from Ms. Chapa and a tie from Mr. Blanco. Let's get started. Jacqueline Acevedo will be attending Prince George Community College this fall. Ricardo Canales will be attending University of the District of Columbia this fall. Jason Cruz Govera will be attending Mount St. Mary's University this fall. Corey Dolet will be attending St. Vincent College this fall. Catherine Aroa will be attending University of Tampa this fall. <laughs> Leslie Escaletico will be attending Trinity Washington University. <laughs> Miguel Spaniel Jr. will be attending the Catholic University of America. <laughs> Sherwin Estrada will be attending Montgomery College. Asu Sena Garcia will be attending Trinity Washington University. Ruthie Hernandez will be attending Stevenson University. Ann Julian will be attending Towson University. Karen Martinez Nunez will be attending Trinity Washington University. Armana Lulu will be attending Radford University. Jalen Mejia will be attending Trinity Washington University. 
Fernando Moreno will be attending Lincoln College of Technology. Marcella Moreno Escobar will be attending Mount St. Mary's University. Melanie Ojeda Castillo will be attending Montgomery College. Eggshell Ortiz Mendoza will be attending Marymount University. Patricio Paseo will be attending the Catholic University of America. Amy Vasquez will be going to the United States Marines. Juan Villa Torda will be attending Montgomery College. And Andrea Guia will be attending Montgomery College this fall. Congratulations, guys. And as for our honor graduates,
<laughs> and Genesis will be attending the Catholic University of America. Daryl Johnson Jr. Daryl received a 3.96 GPA and he will be attending Mount St. Mary's University this fall. Vanessa Alfaro. Vanessa received a 4.0 GPA and she will be attending <laughs> the Catholic University of America. Gabriella Barrera. Gabriella received a 4.07 GPA. And Gabriella will be determined. Katia Zamora Lopez. Katia received a 4.13 GPA, and she'll be attending George Mason University. Danoet Moles, she received a. Danaway will be attending St. Louis University. Jada Sida. They received a 4.17 GPA. She will be attending Syracuse University. Zakaya Simon. Zakaya <laughs> received a 4.20 GPA. And she will be attending the University of Richmond. Nancy Nolesia Davela. Nancy received a 4.21 GPA and she will be attending. Oh, she's right there, I see her. Yeah, she did. <laughs> Nancy will be attending University of Maryland College Park. Leonardo Blanco. Leonardo received a 4.22 GPA. And he will be attending the University of Maryland College Park. Jennifer Martinez. Jennifer received a 4.26 GPA and she will be attending Boston University. Melanie Cervantes Romero. Now we received a 4.39 GPA. 
and she'll be attending the Catholic University of America. Giselle bring us Martinez. Giselle received a 4.43 GPA and she will be attending the University of Maryland College Park. And now for our salutatorian and valedictorian this year. Leslie Serrano is our salutatorian. Leslie received a 4.48 GPA, and she'll be attending St. Vincent College. And for our valedictorian, Gracia Perez. Gracia received a 4.55 GPA and she'll be attending New York University this fall. Congratulations to all of you. We are all very proud of you. Wow, congratulations. But let's just take a minute. And as we think about all of your accomplishments, we know that none of this happened alone. And if this last year and a half have taught us nothing, it's that we succeed because of a lot of hard work, a lot of perseverance, and a lot of pe people pushing and praying for us. So can we just get a round of applause for all those who pushed and prayed for us? Let's hear it for your parents. Let's hear it for those people who were sent home on March 13th, only to learn a totally different way of doing their job and spent the last 15 months figuring out how best to help you meet your goals. Let's hear it for our teachers. As Mr. Blanco said, College Signing Day has become a national holiday and a national celebration through a lot of hard work and inspiration by a lot of people, but it was really Mrs. Michelle Obama, who made it a national movement. And her words that she said in 2014 ring even more true today. And here's what she said at those first few college signing celebrations. There will be struggles. I've certainly had my share of struggles. And don't we know struggles after this last year and a half, ladies and gentlemen. But she said, here's what I want you to know. You're not supposed to go through this on your own. No one gets through college or life on their own. So just like you have over this last year and a half, Michelle Obama encourages us that when we hit those walls, 
And students, you will hit those walls. Don't be surprised. Don't be shocked. Don't think it's just you. Don't think you're not supposed to be there. Whether it's NYU or Richmond or the Marines or PGCC. Don't think you're not supposed to be there. Go get some help. Don't sit in your room alone. Don't stew or stir. Go out and build your base of support. She added, you cannot do this alone. I didn't. And we are not expecting that from any one of you. Y'all can get this done. Because if she could do it, so can you. Ladies and gentlemen, even if it was virtually for a year and a half, you built an incredible community here at Don Bosco Cristo Rey. You are not heading out alone. You will take so many prayers and supporters with you. Lean on us. Graduation doesn't mean that you're done with us. Continue to reach out for help if you need it, whether it's to Mr. Castillo or any of your teachers or Ms. Parks in the counseling department or your corporate work study mentors and supervisors. All of us as a community are here for you. Know that we've been praying for you since before you came to Don Bosco. And we will keep praying for you for many, many years to come. We're so incredibly proud of you. Finish this year strong. Remember all of your college acceptances came with the provision that you finish strong. So make sure you finish strong and we will be with you to celebrate in June. Congratulations. I now have the pleasure of inviting the class of 2021's valedictorian and up to offer our closing prayer. Gracias, Perez. Hello, class of 2021. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Jesus Christ. Dear God, we thank you that you have indeed given the class of 2021 great hope and a future. We pray for the days you have purpose for us to walk in, every single one, and ask you to fill us with your spirit and power as we live out our destiny. We ask that you inspire us to never be afraid to dream big, run strong, and soar high. We pray that nothing be allowed to hold us back in this life. May we fulfill every calling you have in our lives. Strengthen us to live a life of so much love, passion, influence, hope, and determination that this world is changed for the better. May we always know that everything is possible to those who believe, for our God is always greater. May we have a deep desire to serve faithfully and a heart to work hard. Shine over us, fill us with your spirit. Bless us with your favor and peace. We ask all of this through Christ our Lord, amen. Mary, help of Christians. St. John Bosco. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Thank you, Gracia and Ms. Chapa. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our college signing day program. Thank you very much for, for attending today. Congratulations again uh, to all of our seniors. Continue uh, and finish strong. Thank you to our parents, guardians, and, and guests who accompany us today. Um, and also uh, a special shout out before we leave also to our college counselors, who I know have been working uh, very hard, to Ms. Wilson, uh, Mr. Cannon. <laughs> and
And a special shout out also to a, a young lady who also well, started this journey with our, uh, with our students, uh, Ms. Wright, who is in the back. Shout out to Ms. Wright. Alrighty, everyone have a good rest of your day. We want to try and get a, uh, a group picture of our, of our graduates, of our students, um, not graduates yet, but of our uh, college accepted uh, seniors. Uh, we want to try to get one here in the front. We want to do so in a, in a safe uh, way. So our photographers will be guiding us. So if you can bring up your certificates, uh, your frames, and we will try to get a group photo for those of you who would like. Good afternoon, everyone.